Welcome to another video. This is your Tactical Power Pro, and today we have the W3650IE Furman Inverter Generator. This Furman starts and runs with the choke. Once you remove the choke, it dies. Let's take a look. To understand why this is happening, we need to understand how a carburetor works. And a carburetor mixes air and fuel in the correct ratio for internal combustion engines, providing the engine with the necessary combustible mixture for optimal performance. Now let's keep that in mind and analyze what's happening. Okay, so we know that the generator starts with a choke on. So once we apply choke, we are restricting airflow to the carburetor. So if there's no issue with the fuel side, once we remove the choke, the air and fuel mixture will be correct. But we know that that's not happening. So that tells us that there's some issue with the fuel supply. So check this out. The generator starts with the choke on. We restrict air to the carburetor. But now there's a clock fuel line or a dirty carburetor. So when we remove the choke, there's going to be too much air compared to the fuel coming out the carburetor. So improper mixture of fuel and air is happening, leading to the generator to shut down. Cool. Now that we understand what's going on with the generator, let's get our hands dirty and get it fixed. Let's start by removing the side cover and get access to the carburetor. Now that we have access to the carburetor, we notice that it's going to be a tight fit to work on it. So to, better, to make it easy on us, let's remove the intake uh, side grill. Got six screws in there. And then we also remove the entire side panel. There's a few screws that holds that down. Good. Now we have a lot more room to work on the carburetor. So let's proceed to remove the air box cover. Remove the air filter and then you will see the two nuts that holds the air box in place. Once you get them two bolts out, we got free access to the carburetor. Now it's time to clean the carburetor. You're going to need a carburetor cleaner and a carburetor brush kit. Use a thin wire to clean all the small orifices and spray them down. Drain the fuel from the bowl and remove the carburetor bowl so you get access to your main jet and your emulsion tube. And here we found the issue. The main jet and the emulsion tube were partially clogged, thus restricting the fuel flow through the carburetor. Now use a small wire to clear every hole in the emulsion tube on the main jet. Use your carburetor cleaner to spray it down, and you should be able to see through every hole of the emulsion tube and the main jet. Okay, so something else that you need to clean is your pilot jet. It is located at the top of your carburetor. In this case, I already pulled it off, but you can see where it goes to. This one is made out of brass. So careful when you're pulling it out. It looks something like this. The pilot jet controls the fuel and air mixture when the generator has no load. In this case, you can see that it's rusted out. So grab a wire brush and give it a clean. The tiny hole should be free of debris. Once clean, put the carburetor back together. And like I mentioned before, I got all the videos showing how to clean the carburetor more in depth. And this one I was just giving you 
tips of what to clean, what to look for. But yeah, go ahead and check my other videos. But now, let's start the generator and see if it runs without the choke. And there we go, we have fixed the fuel restriction issue due to a partially clogged emulsion tube and a carburetor. Now this Furman 3650 has no problem running without the choke. And before you leave, let me know in the comments if this video helped you fix the issue with your generator. And I really, really appreciate your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.